This morning, Seattle police are looking for the two men behind Wednesday evening shooting in downtown Seattle. Here they are on your screen. 24 year old William Tolliver and 24 year old Marquise Tolbert. Police say you need to consider that they are armed and dangerous. In just a few hours, Seattle residents, business owners and others will call will say enough is enough. Cairo 7's Ranji Sinha explains they're fed up with the rise in violence in the heart of the city. After the shooting in front of this McDonald's left one person dead and seven people injured, there's a climate of fear and anxiety that anybody walking on this street, on this corner, is a target. That's why businesses are having a rally at Westlake Park, just a block from here, calling for an end to the crime that's run rampant. Even before the incident on Wednesday, people knew this was a hotbed for crime. This area, not much being done about it. I spoke to commuters who say they feel like a target just standing and waiting for the bus. Businesses reopened, things got back to normal Thursday, but the rally this morning meant to get people engaged and calling for the city to act, and that includes the Downtown Seattle Association. We need a safety strategy, first and foremost. I feel way too comfortable coming there and selling drugs and shoplifting, selling goods, and violence like this too often is the result. John Scholl says more police patrols are needed, but so is better prosecution of criminals. He says the feeling is that criminals, not the city, control 3rd Avenue. And that rally at Westlake Park, just a block from here, is slated to take place at 1030 this morning. In Seattle, Ranji Sinha, Cairo 7 News.